That's real Dean. true, yeah. Uh, I had met Dean in San Rafael, where I was living at the time, up north from here, from L.A., and um, I got his number, and I definitely I wanted to start something with him. I thought he was you know, an incredible drummer. You can pay me later. I will. <laughs> but I wanted to start a band with him, and so when, when uh, Jonathan Kane called me to come down, I asked him if they had a drummer yet, and he said no, so I brought Dean with me. And I said, well, if you'll take us as a package, we'll check it out, but otherwise, we're not going to do it. <laughs> I'm Joe, Joey Gioelli. Um, a career, I was, I'm Johnny's brother, and we've been playing for about 10, 14 years around that uh, time frame. Uh, the whole way around the United States, playing there, and we, ha we have never been to Japan, but a lot of our tapes work their ways over there and, and pictures and magazines and uh, we've been playing for a long time and had a lot of success with Brunette across the United States but never really could just like <clears throat> get it done I mean we were kept getting tangled up into bad little situations and stuff and uh, finally we, would, we were going to do something on our own John and I and uh, we had some success with, th with that we, we had a record deal all worked out and, and then uh, we were looking for producers and Neil got involved with us and we had a great time together and we said eh, Let's drop the ball on this solo thing and let's put a band together. And that was the whole thing. We're all tired of really being in band situations all the time. But this, this, feels, this is great. This feels really good this way. Uh, Todd Jensen. Uh, a few wow. years ago, was, yeah, man. A few years ago, I was in a band called Harlow. Uh, then after that, I was in David Lee Roth. Um, we didn't play Japan last year, but. Um, when I was still touring with Dave uh, in America, Dean called me. Dean and I grew up in the same hometown. We've known each other for years. And uh, Dean called me uh, while we were still out touring, telling me about this project and, you know, how committed to, uh, to Dave was I and what was the time frame. And we started sending tapes. And uh, the, day, the day I got back from the Roth tour, I was sitting in a meeting with all five of us that night. And... Uh, we got together and played for the first time, I think, two or three days later, and ever, since, ever since then, that's, that's been it. It's been a band. He always says that, that I'm the greatest vocalist. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Johnny, Johnny is the new and up-and-coming great vocalist. You know yeah. something? At first, when, when, I, when we uh, got this all together, um, I was a bit nervous because yes that's true he's worked with some of the greatest vocalists in the world Stephen Perry of course I mean one of my idols so it was slightly a nerve-wracking but I knew for a very long time exactly um, what I wanted to do vocally with my career and Neil really liked it so there was no uncomfortable feeling at all I just sing you know sing my heart out and you know and that's it I was living down in L.A., and um, I met up with Johnny But anyway, Joey. I met up with these guys, and, and you know, um, they played me some of their tapes of the band that they were in, Burnett, and uh, we started picking apart songs and actually writing some new songs, and I got real interested in producing them as uh, just the two brothers. They were going to do like a duet thing, like uh, sort of like a Heart of Rock Nelson's, and um, I was going to produce them, so we were working on the material at the same time that Bad English was doing our last record. And uh, it just, you know, I was less enthused with the bad English thing the more and more I was going in the studio with that and more enthused with what we were doing together. So that, you know, how that all came about and that's how I met these guys. You know, I've been playing for like so long now, it's gonna be, you know, 28 years I'll be playing guitar and, and so, I'm pretty diversified as a guitar player, as, as so I can play in so many different areas and, and capture myself in those different types of musical entities. And I feel that, that we have that capability as a band also, because it's so young and, and fresh. And you know, so we can continue to make records and it won't sound like the same old song over and over, which I'm really looking forward to and I'm sure everybody else is mm -hmm. too. Yep. We can really grow as a band into something very unique and, and different and honest.